Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel and to another video and this video today is a continuation of my massive haul uh, that I've started the day before so yeah uh, that video would be way too long if I included these fragrances there as well so I had to split I hope that's okay and uh, before we start, uh, I just want to let you know, if you don't know already, that Navitus has Venom of Love, which is my fragrance, in a discovery kit at the moment. And of course, I have a discount code for you guys. So if you are interested in sampling some fragrances first before purchasing a full bottle, because I'm sure you will, because you're going to fall in love. Um, but if you want to test first, then I highly, highly recommend getting Allure set which comes in this beautiful red box and here you have not only venom of love but you also have gabby's newest creation which is chocolate queen you also get steven's newest creation which is race spirits and you also get the full oriental collection that has been just launched with navitus as well so don't run no don't walk <laughs> don't walk run uh, and get yourself the discovery kit um, you know you can always add it to your order if you want to purchase a full bottle that definitely wouldn't hurt so yeah highly highly recommend because you get so many samples here which are really big and they have beautiful atomizers not like those you know normal samples no these are like nice and thick and big and glass so massive thumbs up for that and that is the kit so let me start with maybe the most ridiculous purchase of mine so uh, if you guys do not know already i am currently spending time uh, in my mom and my house and uh, that is because i will be soon moving countries again um so yeah uh, however even though we are currently together and you know uh, we can mix and match each other's fragrances because it's not uh, far away from me where she lives you know <laughs> uh, and the other way around uh, I still purchase things that I know that I love even though I already have it but my mom wants it you get what I'm saying so this Victor and Rolf flower bomb I went back to it like a naughty kid and I fell in love with it once again so at first I purchased this 50 ml bottle and then my mother saw it on my stash and you know she is at least used to be i thought she used to be a massive flower bomb fan she used to wear it all the time and when she saw this it like triggered so many memories for her and all that jazz that she basically really wanted it so what i did was i gave it to her i gave this to her and then I browsed online and saw a very, very good price for 100 ml. So I purchased it. Is it stupid? Yes, absolutely. It's very, very stupid of me to do it. Um, but, you know, since th that's my explanation behind it. Since I'm leaving, I might want to have flower bomb in my stash and I wouldn't have hard to not give it to my mom if she loves it so much you know so yeah i just decided to go for another bottle of flower bomb 100 ml this time um, maybe i will actually leave the 100 ml with my mom and i will take the 50 ml i don't know yet i don't know but uh, yeah now i have two bottles which is great great i actually really love the scent i cannot lie uh, it's gorgeous um, there was a time when it bothered me a couple of years back. You know, I have phases with this fragrance. I re really, really have phases. Uh, but at the moment, I love it again. So that's it. That's it. I have to have it. If you haven't had it ever, bitch, just get it. 
okay so yeah flower bomb is like a you know very statement of a fragrance but it's very old and almost a classic i would say you know it's almost not there yet but almost like chanel coco mademoiselle you know everyone will know it's flower bomb and it's very timeless so that that's just my opinion though okay next this is one of my favorite niche brands because first of all they have beautiful scents obviously but second of all they're not expensive and third of all which is so important for me at the moment they are sustainable uh, they have eco packaging that you can utilize uh, you can recycle it nothing wrong here and they also are all natural ingredients so you cannot go better than this and i'm talking about l'atelier parfum this is how the packaging looks as you can see it's nothing crazy here on their packaging uh, however i really love that because it's so easy to recycle it's so easy to just you know split in half uh, put it flat and you know so so good for the environment and uh, this is their opus 2 collection and this fragrance is called tobacco volute and this is tobacco vanilla and tonka and uh, this is up to 92 natural ingredients 100% vegan so no animal origin here uh, and as I said fully sustainable brand so there you have it I must say even though the packaging outside is not like wow oh my god amazing oh wow ooh, no but that's thumbs up for me I hate extra packaging I hate it the bottles are gorgeous all right the bottles are gorgeous look at that and they have a wooden cap it's gorgeous isn't it it's just beautiful and very sturdy in your hand very like heavy but not too heavy balls. and guys this is currently my favorite favorite tobacco fragrance okay 100% 100% the best for me at the moment okay this if you know how velvet tonka from bdk parfum smells very similar very similar but not as cloying a little bit less sweet i mean it's also sweet but that sweetness comes from somewhere else with bdk version of tonka based fragrance you also have tobacco there uh, but you also have a lot of um, almondy touches all right and you also get a lot of powderiness from that fragrance and also slight cherry like touch okay with this this is beautiful just beautiful that's all i can say i adore this scent the opening is very very similar like 99,92 my nose similar to velvet tonka from bdk okay and then it starts to dry down a little bit more like woody a little bit more um transparent not as powdery okay this fragrance is less of a powdery scent it is just to die for guys just to die for uh, it's very long lasting it actually does last on your skin it will not give you justice uh, on paper you have to test it on your skin to really appreciate the scent it really does last on your skin on my skin alone uh, by the way guys if you hear weird noises uh, my 
absolutely terrible neighbors are doing that thing again when they go crazy they act like flipping monkeys i am so 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 sorry i am so sorry guys if you hear anything it's the neighbors not me it literally uh, feels like i am in a zoo yeah uh, and they're not the nicest people let me be frank here uh, so yes <laughs> back to the fragrance this is so glorious on my skin it lasts for at least six hours and uh, on your clothes in your hair it will last of course even longer beautiful beautiful scent it has i would say moderate projection it is very sensual uh, I would say it's more sensual than Velvet Tonka is because uh, of that powderiness being definitely reduced here. You get more of that uh, tobacco here. Um, this is way better for any kind of occasion, okay? And I would say it's also sexier. It's sexier, it's more seductive. I love it. I love it. So yes, L'Atelier Parfum Tobacco Volute is the first one. And I also did receive a small version of their scent. Let me see. There we go. Uh, from the same line, which is Opus 2. And this is White Mirage. And I just have this little, um, little version of a fragrance, but it's perfect for the handbag. And this one is also exquisite if you love tuberose like me. It is fantastic. It is tuberose, a little bit of those tropical florals, but it has a lot of nice uplifting freshness to it. Very elegant, very elegant scent. And I must say it's so addictive. I don't know what it is about this scent, but it's so addictive, it's just incredible. Um, you know, I do own quite a bit of tuberose-based fragrances and I love all of them that I left, <laughs> not decluttered. Uh, I love all of them, but um, uh, with White Mirage, I still feel like it's so unique. It's definitely unique enough that even if you have a lot of tuberose-based scents, you absolutely do have to check, check it out. Uh, you know, just get yourself this uh, small version. Mm, they're very inexpensive on their website and you get so much fragrance in here. Uh, so test this for sure, but with tobacco one, you can be absolutely fine with a full bottle straight away. You know, you can blind buy it, no problem no problem to me this is such an easy blind buy uh, if you like slightly sweeter deeper fragrances that are very sensual and just amazing oh i'm in heaven and it's so sexy so sexy i love it so that is enough uh from l'atelier parfum i know i talked a lot but before I go to another brand, just know you have a discount code for me, so use it. I get nothing from it. There, it this is not an affiliate. Um, you know, I just love and support the brand and um, I highly, highly recommend if you want to purchase, just use my discount code. And uh, what's next? What's next? Uh, okay, Kana. Kana, guys. And this is a dream come true. I even recorded a reel. Um, with the scent because I was so so happy when I received it and I recently showed you that I got a full bottle of Marbella which is exquisite exquisite for spring and summer especially summer is like a fruity aquatic heaven that lasts oh but this is just as good and this is actually quite hard to get I feel like of course you can get it from their website and I do have a discount with Kana as well so don't miss out on that um, but to just browse for internet and get it is very very hard so I would suggest getting it straight from the website and this is another one from the same collection as Marbella and this is Ibiza Nights 
and this has exactly the same packaging as Marbella and the scent profile is also a little bit similar I'm not gonna lie here but it is just to die for um, you know Marbella to me is way sweeter and fruitier and juicier whereas, whereas, uh, whereas Ibiza Nights is just more aquatic and it kind of feels like you you threw yourself uh, into Medi Mediterranean beautiful clear water from a yacht okay uh, this is hashtag yacht life for me for sure you know I really really miss being on a boat um, unfortunately not the case at the moment for me but I'm hoping that I will spend a lot of time on a boat uh, this summer actually I'm really really craving Ibiza again I love Ibiza especially the quieter version of Ibiza you know what I mean that um, very bougie sophisticated almost remote um, spheres of the island love that but I do like to party too so yeah Ibiza is definitely on my schedule this year and Ibiza nights it's like this aquatic citrusy not as fruity and sweet as Marbella this one is fresher this one is less sweet this one is a little bit zingy you know what I mean a little bit um, citrusy tangy it has a tang to it beautiful beautiful absolutely beautiful it's very fizzy as well I feel like you know when you open a fresh bottle of Sprite yeah love it love it it's gorgeous so Ibiza Nights is for all of you who really want super fresh aquatic um, citrusy fragrance with some some florals this is it uh, Marbella would be for all of you who love fruitier uh, I love them all I'm gonna take them to my vacation destination 100% I'm gonna love them and use them and cherish them and I'm gonna have so much fun that's that's uh, that's the plan you know and Ibiza nights will surely help me so if you want to have fun this summer definitely get yourself Ibiza nights or Marbella uh, the discount code includes both of them and any other fragrance that you want so yeah next one uh, this is from a brand that I'm slowly discovering at the moment and this is L'Orchestre de Parfum and this is by the way uh, at the moment I saw uh, that uh, another fragrance from this brand is so hyped up but I uh, got completely another one different no, not, not Piano Santal uh, this is Bouquet Encore and you know what guys first of all another brand that has sustainable eco-friendly recyclable packaging so love 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 this and uh, not only that this brand is um, based on different instruments of course as the name suggests is the whole orchestra right and uh, I absolutely love it because it hits very uh, close to home for me because if you don't know guys um, I'm not only a lawyer I'm actually um, a music school ex student uh, and I do play the piano the grand piano and I also did vocals for many many years so yeah I did piano for nine or ten years and I did vocals for five so very very close to my heart this brand I must admit and Bouquet Encore is absolutely gorgeous I am so happy I went with this uh, and not the super hyped up Piano Santal I mean Piano Santal is pretty much my second choice I love it but this is the best tuberose ever uh, so with Latelier White Mirage this is more of a raw wild not sweet of a tuberose and this one uh, the bouquet encore is 
just beautiful okay just beautiful so feminine so enveloping so beautiful just you know it's just a beautiful scent to have in your collection very long lasting this one i also really like the bottle because it is uh, just nice on the shelf you know it doesn't take too much space but at the same time it's nicely done also a wooden cap and the scent it is just gorgeous it is that beautiful but not bubblegummy sweet yet super super sweet tuberose um you know a little bit like armani my way but it doesn't have that bergamot it is just a little bit more like candy sweet i would say to my nose at least it's like candy sweet um this fragrance is a little bit if you mixed bdk passe soi and our money my way that's kind of the vibe that you get from this one if i may say so you know it's hard to describe the uh, 25th tuberose on this channel so i'm really trying here um but yeah this one has a lot of that candy sweetness and uh, it's still not cloying it's just perfect for every day but also for very formal events and special occasions so i highly recommend if you really like your you know sweet florals that are just beautiful and very feminine and super easy to work with did you just hear that what the f as i said guys uh very sorry my neighbors are absolutely full of shit and disrespectful tonight and it is after 10 pm just so you know so yeah anyways gorgeous scent i have a discount code i think so check it out very very worth getting and uh, last but definitely not least i've got a fragrance uh, from soradora and i love the brand i really really love the brand i only wish they had bigger bottles in terms of the dosage you know i wish they had 100 ml bottles uh but you know on the other hand they their fragrances are so strong that you really probably wouldn't get through a hundred mil like quickly at all so maybe that's for the best i hope i hope i make sense um this is soradora camel wood and <clears throat> i love it i love it this is another Soradora in my collection and I couldn't be happier uh, because I really, really love the vibe of this scent. I love it. Um, if you like oud, if you like fragrances that are not too sweet, if you like something deep and that is just gonna transport you to the Sahara Desert somewhere in Egypt, if you wanna look for pyramids in your imagination if you want to be queen nefertiti in your head then get yourself camel oud that's what i'm gonna tell you oh yes very middle eastern uh this is a heavy oud but it is not barnyard despite of the name camel there is no camel toe in the scent if you know what i mean I love it it is spicy it is indulgent it is strong it performs like a beast it is also great to mix with other fragrances because it is more of a linear scent love it love it beautiful oud scent this is definitely something that i was truly missing from my collection uh, since I did get rid of many many fragrances and some of my older oud fragrances have spilled or I used them up I really really needed some nice new oud so here it is very very good one um, yeah you get 50 ml here and even though the packaging is not as sustainable as the other ones it's actually very nice to reuse because what i like to do with soradora packaging and i'm sorry if anyone from soradora would be watching ever my video then sorry that's the truth 
I take the lid, I turn it around and I put my stuff in here. Okay, it's just the perfect little box that you can have on your nightstand. At least that's what I do. Okay, that's what I do. And yeah, I've been, I've, I've told you, I've been reusing my stuff. I've been reusing boxes, packaging. Uh, I'm trying to reuse things to not produce so much trash. You know, and since I am the person who gets PR pretty much every single day, uh, you know, dozens, dozens, dozens of boxes to unpack and to get through and to toss. I'm really trying to be a good person on this planet and reuse my things. So this I also do reuse for certain purposes, um, like old tissues or something, whatever it might be. Okay. And that is it guys. I do have a discount code for Soradora as well. So don't be afraid to grab it and use it and abuse it uh, because this is what these discount codes are for to be used and abused by you and I'm very very happy that you are doing that uh, thank you so much for watching my darlings I don't think I'm gonna make another fragrance haul anytime soon uh, I mean I do have a couple of fragrances ordered that are just on their way but um, after that I think I'm gonna be done so yeah uh, next video I'm hoping to put that very very requested part 3 of my declutter uh, just give me a little bit of time because uh, you know I'm still going through my illness and it's hard to just you know go around the room and toss those fragrances around and about oh it's it's a mess always okay so I'm getting around to it and stay tuned for that if you missed part 1 of this haul uh, it will be of course linked for you and see you there or in my other videos. Bye!